Hey, what's going on everybody? Dennis here, EDC for fun. Thanks for clicking on the video. Today we're looking at my O-Knife Drever. And um, before we get into kind of my uh, specific thoughts about this knife, I do want to say one thing just preemptively. I'm not hating on this knife. I like Olight a lot. Um, but as you can see, I've got some Loctite out and I'm getting ready to do something because although when I got it, the action was really good and the lockup was rock solid, it's not anymore. Um, and I have not cut anything. All I've done is just sit on the couch with this and just flip it. That's literally all I've done and I've got some blade wobble. So I'm gonna get that uh, squared away or attempt to get that squared away and um, and then we'll talk about the knife. So just really quickly, we've got a T8 over here. Okay. Just gonna take this out. I'm gonna get some thread locker. Sorry, I know I'm off camera here. Just bear with me for a second. Okay. Nothing crazy. Okay, get that snugged. Just wipe some of this stuff down. Got a little bit on my fingers. First time ever doing something like this on camera, by the way. I'll have to watch it back and see how much made it on the <laughs> on the screen. All right. So I'm gonna just snug it down a little bit more. All right, and then I'm just going to leave it out. I'm not going to flip it too much after that because I'm going to just let that thread locker do its job. So let's actually move this out. Let's get this out of the way. Get this out of the way. All right, so the first thing I really like about this knife is the blade shape and the blade finish. Uh, that stone wash looks great. It really does. Um, and we've got this skinny sheep's foot blade with this little swedge up here. We've got a four finger choil, little bit of jimping, not aggressive, but the, the shape of the blade, you can see it's got some belly on there. You know, we've got this, the, the thickness of the blade carries pretty far out to the tip. And, uh, you know, very, very practical, um, you know, very, very good looking, I think. And um, I think they did a nice job on that. The steel is the uh, N690. Let's see if we can get it on there. Yep, N690. I don't have a lot of experience with this steel, but to be honest, I, I didn't get this knife as a user. Um, just as somebody who likes Olite, um, you know, when I saw they were coming out with knives, um, you know, I wanted to get one because, you know, I'm a knife guy. And um, for their first design, I thought, uh, you know, I thought it was pretty, <laughs> pretty impressive. And, um, you know, they teamed up with uh, Kaiser. I'm not sure how all the details for all that stuff works out, but I'm sure somebody out there uh, in the knife community can tell you more about it or probably already has on camera. Um, so, I do, uh, I do really like um, the uh, the thought that went into this design. So moving from the blade um, back here, we've got a really simple construction. You can see there's one standoff. You saw me take the uh, the pivot screw out, um, T8 on that, and then you've got a deep carry pocket clip. It's not fully recessed, although you can. Let's see if you can see it. There was some milling done because the 
the scales are contoured slightly. And so there was some milling done to get this clip to sit flat um, a little bit more. And that thing would have just been flush in there. You can see it sticks up a little bit. It's not a deal breaker. It doesn't really, you know, make it um, that it's not usable or anything. But if, man, just a little bit more and that thing would have been flush, just would have been a really, really nice uh, finish on there. Steel liners. And they are milled out. You can kind of see in there. Yeah, see the holes down the center, they're milled out. The G10 is um, smooth and, um, you know, it's it's going to give you some pretty good texture, um, especially if your hands are wet. This will just grab, um, you know, if your hands are sweaty or whatever. I mean, typically if my hands are wet, I try and dry them off before I grab a sharp object. But if there's some moisture still there, you're not going to have any issues. Um, so, I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, you know, as far as, uh, you know, what I just generally think about the, the construction, the design, the thought behind it. Like I said, this for me is not really going to be a user. It's just something I just wanted to add to my collection because I do like Olights. Um, if you're concerned about that little bit of, you know, blade wobble, um, I wouldn't be too bent out of shape about that because some knives, and I know Benchmade, you know, has a little bit of history with this, um, might cost <laughs> twice as much and still have that problem. Okay. Um, this one uh, is a Griptilian. Um, it's the 20 CV version with the G10 instead of the FRN and, you know, all kinds of little upgrades on it. But even, even this thing, um, you know, after I got it, developed a little bit of blade wobble after not, you know, really much use at all. And a um, little bit of Loctite on there, and she was good to go. I do want to say I've never had that issue with Civivi. And I've also never had that issue with Spyderco. Um, so just putting it out there, it's not a deal breaker, um, but it is something to, you know, to think about, um, you know, just kind of in general, you know, why is that an issue on some knives, but not so much on other knives. By the way, this, this is, uh, as you can see, the lightweight Manix. Um, I got this, um, you know, back when they were like 80 bucks new i don't i think they're uh pushing 100 um but i don't, I don't recommend doing this but i have batoned with this thing okay and it is still rock solid and this is <laughs> this is frn okay um so you know i'm uh you know just putting it out there uh to say you know if if you're looking for um you know, something, you know, a little more heavy duty. Uh, I, I don't think this is it. If this is your first knife or your only knife, so be it. Um, but for me, like I said, this is more of just, uh, just to add to the collection because I am a fan of Olight. And, um, you know, with that being said, um, they are coming out with a titanium frame lock with an S35 BN, uh, S35 VN steel that's got a clip point on it. Um, once that comes in, um, you know, hopefully I'll be able to get one and I'll show that one to you guys as well. Uh, but that one I do plan on putting, you know, to good use. This thing um, is just going to be kind of like a second knife um, or, you know, just something to um, display. Just kind of keep out with some of my Olight stuff, which by the way, um, one of the things that was mentioned in, uh, some of the promos is the color on this G10. Olight has a lot of blue accents in their stuff and I did want to show, um, it does look, you know, really cool with their blue. Uh, here's their, they had this, uh, limited edition one, uh, during, you know, the onset of, uh, you know, the Wu flu, no offense to anybody out there, but. I think that blue looks really cool. 
It even looks cool with my Benchmade, the little blue accents in there. So I'll just set that right there. So it's pretty sharp looking. Feels pretty good. If you're somebody who um, likes a thinner handle, uh, this thing will slide in your pocket and just kind of disappear. Um, that kind of stuff doesn't make a big difference to me. As you can see, the, this Manix is like twice the, the width or the height, depending on how you want to look at it uh, in your pocket. Um, but that doesn't really bother me. Um, but if that's something that uh, you're concerned about, um, you know, this is going to be like your, your Benchmade 940 or Osborne. It's very thin, um, just kind of slides in the corner of your pocket. And if you need to stick your hands in there to get something else out, it's not going to, not going to be button up against you. So I did want to just say one more time how much I did really appreciate how this blade came out. It does look really good. Let's see if we can get that stone washing on there. Yeah, I mean, that stone wash looks great. It's uh, very reminiscent of some other good stone washing. This is good. I mean, it looks good. You know, it hides uh, wear and scratches and stuff. And I, I kind of like that stuff. I, as much as uh, the shine of a polished knife, you know, looks really cool. Um, when you start using them, um, they, do, uh, they do show their wear, which is you know, going to be, uh, okay for some people, not so much for other people, but, um, I don't really know what else to say. I'm kind of just rambling on at this point. So I do want to thank you guys for checking out the video. I hope everything's uh, going well for you. And, um, if you have any comments, uh, leave them down below. If there's anything you want to see, uh, anything you want to know about, um, you know, whether it's this knife or uh, just anything we've talked about. Uh, also, leave me a like. Please subscribe if you're not already. And I uh, hope you have a great day. See you.